Chris Gardner was doing his best. We don't need two. We don't need one. So Mike Burry, who gets his hair cut at Supercuts and doesn't wear shoes, knows more than Alan Greenspan. Dr. Mike Burry, yes, he does. Hey, Mom. What's wrong, Daddy? Mike. What watch did you bring home? Oh, my God. Of course. I can't wait to stand over your shoulder and watch you write as a check. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. You're right. This ain't funny. And it ain't no brothers in it either. Yep. <laughs> hit a new record high on Wall Street. Rivals paint a dark picture. They'll do whatever he can to uh, capture more of the market. How does it feel, William? <laughs> I never went to secondary school. Make us proud. Hey, <laughs> looking sharp, eh? You too, man. Cheers. Helps us solve of problems. But I'm gonna love you anyway. The teaches us to make a plan. If you didn't have a wall to hide behind. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Olive Nkira Terry Brandon and in case you're new to this channel, subscribe and join the first family on YouTube. We all like to sit down and wine, chill over some junk or some healthy food, depends on what type of person you are and watch ourselves some good netflix you know but today i want to show you guys how to netflix and chill the right way with the top movies every entrepreneur should watch on netflix i will not what's it called i will not bust the bubble no what's it called when you say a movie and someone hasn't watched i forgot it but i will not what is it called I forgot it but I will not do that I'm just gonna give you like an overview and the lessons I learned and probably as you watch it you can compare and see if we learned the same lessons so my first movie of choice is the pursuit of happiness guys this movie was overwhelming as in don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something not even me all right all right it says you're pretty determined. You want something? Go get it. Period. I felt it in the core of my system. You guys, Aki, he was doing the most. But I don't to. I don't know what that word is. Kwahari be a movie. I don't want to spoil spoilers. Yes, I don't want to spoil for you a movie. But go watch that movie. And yeah, my key takeaway was maximize your day maximize your time to get the most out of it as in i don't even think i work that hard i honestly don't even think i work that hard because that guy was working really hard the second movie is the big shot so this is about predicts that the market will crash but nobody believes him then the market crashes and a few of the people in that bubble that had done their research rake in a lot of money in the end Michael, how are you? I found something really interesting. The whole housing market is propped up on these bad loans. They will fail. The housing market is rock solid. I'm paying attention. The banks got greedy. <laughs> and we can profit off of their stupidity. You want to bet against the banks? These are the lessons I learned. One, you have to study the market greatly. Two, don't just follow the masses because it looks like something is doing well. Money is a game that the financial intelligent win at 100%, guys. The people who have studied the market, the art of money. That movie that I believe you should watch from Netflix for all entrepreneurs is Wolf of Wall Street. So let's just say that I'm really not a big fan of this movie because I feel like it preaches a lot of bad vices. Like, I mean, there's a lot of stealing, cheating, drugs, alcohol, and all that stuff. My name is Jordan Belfort. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because it was three shy of a million a week. Was all this legal? Absolutely not. But the positive note is, if you know how to make money, teach and mentor other people as well. Another thing I also liked was 
when you make money don't change like don't let it get over in your head and then you start changing your character and be proud the fourth movie that you should watch is the social network i believe you guys know about this movie if you're enjoying this video so far kindly subscribe and like this video is a reenactment of max zuckerberg it's his facebook journey wow zuckerberg was such a cookie guy like i People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles. I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. This is our time. You're being accused of intentionally breaching security, violating copyrights, violating individual privacy. What I learned is you can have good ideas, but the one who implements it has it all. If you really, really know the story of Zuckerberg, he was really apparently not the one who had the idea. He's the one who implemented the idea. I don't know the truth behind it. Correct me down below in my comment section. Another thing is don't be in a hurry to make money. You could wait and make billions instead of millions. Let me give you an example. If you know about Uber, it is currently apparently not profitable. They're in the market of market share. So what Uber is doing, it's trying to get as much market share as it can. But their strategy is once they're in a lot of market shares, they want to dominate the market, then now they can start being profitable. So kind of makes sense. Fifth movie is Dolemite. So I don't know if you guys have watched this movie, but Dolemite is the most, I don't say stupid, but it's just so stupid and funny. And funny enough, it's actually inspired by a true story about this guy who just had big dreams and visions. It's just too funny. Actually, I feel like it just came out late 2019. Hey, you know, Auntie, I was thinking about putting out a comedy record. Comedy? You've been a singer, a shake dancer? Ha! That's real hard to break in. I do whatever it takes to get in. Our dreams just don't come true. A man slam a door in my face, I just find another door. I want the world to know I exist. This is what I learned. Do not give up. Go for your dreams. And also you can borrow money to actualize your idea. Like I like Dolemite. Like there's a time he needed money so badly. He didn't have money. He was just borrowing people loans left, right and center. And to the point people were even looking at him like, we are going to pay back. But then as the movie continues, just see him going back paying people their checks. And I'm just like, nigga, you knew what you were trying to go for. People telling him, no, you can't do it. And he did it. He was just such an observant guy. He's, you know, despite people looking at him like he was crazy. As in that movie is actually, it's funny, it's stupid, but a lot of lessons to learn. Definitely check that movie out. The sixth movie you should watch is Three Idiots. This movie was recommended to me by Sue Mweni. She shouted it out on her platform and I was like, I have not watched this movie. Before you go watch it, it's an Indian movie so you have to read subtitles and all. As in, I think it's even my top movie in this whole list. Life is this. If you don't get strong, then you'll come out and run away. We were to college for degree. I will not accept your paper. Sir, do you know our name and roll number? Hey. That movie just has too many lessons. You don't have to be number one to be successful. Everyone has their own definition of success. There are people who are really smart but they're so humble. As in oh my gosh you really have to go for what you want and not what everyone wants definitely go out three idiots this is what i even wrote success is not cramming it's doing what you love and what you're good at being there for your friends and for oh my gosh there's that apart you guys i cried like that guy i forgot his name that guy was there for his friends and then they had an exam the next day they were doing engineering so let me tell you these three idiots let me just give you the rundown these three idiots are these three friends who are in engineering school and as in just the story of how they are there for each other. They were just, oh my gosh, it's such an emotional movie. Just go check it out. As in being there just for your friends at the weirdest times. You know, not thinking about yourself. I'm a, oh my gosh. They were so kind and humble and loving. Just check that movie out. Another thing I liked in that movie was doing what you love 
will bring money and wealth to just follow you as in kai don't forcefully do a business or a job that you don't love and appreciate like that is one thing i learned from that movie money is not happiness it's just comfort so i mean for the fact that you're not in this world for too long just do what you love like i love that movie the seventh movie ish i watched even though it's not really a movie is inside bill's brain it's like a documentary with like i don't know three episodes this was just interesting to me because i'm really a huge fan of bill gates as you all know he's among the richest people in the world and just to see the type of person he is as in his favorite food i don't know his hamburger his fear is his brain not working as in the fact that he has dedicated his life to philanthropy and they're trying to find ways to sort out the sanitation in kenya as in Yani, someone in the US is trying to fix our problems, not even us, and yet we could be the ones trying to fix it. Bill Gates, what's your favorite animal? Dog. What's your favorite food? Hamburger. What do you eat for breakfast? Nothing. What is your worst fear? I don't want my brain to stop working. He thrives on complexity. He makes a framework in his mind, and then he starts slotting in the information. I had the wrong way of looking at things in life you have to decide what's important in the world ultimately it's not what you get it's what you become he's go he has a cabin you guys a whole cabin dedicated to thinking thinking as in you take books and go to a cabin to go and think and read on ways he can improve sanitation in Africa, in Kenya even. As in, you guys watch that series documentary. It's it's just eye-opening to see the amount of philanthropy and amount of dedication someone like him has. And he has the same 24 hours like you and me. As in, that's the crazy bit of all this. My last two movies, and one is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind and Queen of Katwe. I'm gonna put them together because I feel like they have the same storyline. A Boy Who Harnessed the Wind is about a Malawian schoolboy who wanted to provide water or electricity for his people and just to see how, you know, his ups and downs, dying, failing, doing the most, sneaking into school, being chased out of school, he's not paid school fees. The rains came late this year and now the trees have gone. Malawi is preparing for a very long hungry season. We stay, we die. Such an interesting eye-opening story also gives me drives me and reminds me why i'm still really hoping that my entrepreneurship will help me open doors to other people and help them create resources as in just help people anyway another one is queen of cutway i'm not sure if queen of cutway is on netflix i think so i'm not too sure but it's about this ugandan chess player and oh my gosh she's from a poor background they sell maize with the mom and she really wants to change her life and starts playing chess with the boys and you know she's a girl she you know just oh my gosh i don't even know but same storyline with the boy who harnessed the wind they want to change their lives for the people around them for them to be better things from such a small place don't think about such things why not you'll be disappointed young girl come inside what is your name fiona could you please show fiona how to move the pieces you can say anything you want to say man she won you could be the best in all of uganda Good. How can I become a champion? Checkmate. This year's gold medalist, Fiona Mute. Stronger than your bruises, I got thick skin. 
there are so many other movies I want to watch first and definitely recommend. I haven't found some on Netflix, so I think the remaining ones I have, I have to literally like download them. But if you have not watched any of these movies, definitely start watching them. They are amazing. If I'm recommending them, they're amazing. You're literally going to actually learn a thing or two from the movies I've mentioned. Definitely stay tuned for part two because you guys, it's movies. I, I have like a whole collection. I have a whole list I've written down of all the movies I want to recommend for you guys to be watching over the weekend. So stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, if you've watched any of them, let me know down below which one you've watched. And if you've watched one that I have not mentioned but you think it's amazing for entrepreneurs as well, comment down below so we can watch them over the weekend. So yeah, thank you so much for staying tuned to this video. I love you so much. Don't forget to start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. I love you so much and see you on the next video. Before you go, there are some videos on the screen. I would really appreciate if you clicked either of them because I know somehow they're going to impact or change your life in one way or another. Bye! <laughs>